It's easy to walk down the beach and find something that doesn't belong, but when we see things like a cassette tape, an old shoe, or a fish skeleton, it's just not that unusual. The world is full of all kinds of things, some strange and unexpected, so it should be no surprise that some pretty weird things are washing up on beaches too. While it's difficult to shine a light on the full depths of our oceans, we are very lucky to be able to explore what makes its way onto our shores. From giant squid and starfish to huge dice and the occasional human body, these are 20 strangest things that washed up on beaches. Number 20. A missile washed up on a beach in Scotland in 2008. The rig was being relocated with assistance of a tugboat, but it became disconnected during the most recent storm and washed ashore in Dalmore Beach on the Isle of Lewis, the largest island in Scotland. A piece of missile measuring approximately one meter and a half in length was found on a beach in the Outer Hebrides. A walker discovered the bomb component on South Uist, which prompted the Coast Guard to fence off the remote location. Its body is emblazoned with the words, charged cartridge for missile which describes what it is. While bomb disposal specialists are dispatched for fast lane, the general public is told to stay away. The islands are the primary location for a significant military missile shooting test range. According to a spokesman for the Coast Guard, a bomb disposal team member will be responsible for attempting to determine what it is. On the northern edge of the United Kingdom is a beach that, due to its isolation and the presence of large waves, is a favorite destination for surfers. It's unknown where the oil rig was supposed to travel, but the oil rig graveyard in Scotland may now be its final destination. Before we begin, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Military Drone Southeast Florida's Palm Beach County is home to the drone discovered on the beach on Friday. The drone was a component of the Air Force's program to test weapons systems. The Air Force soon located it and no one's safety was ever in jeopardy. The BQM-167A drone is a subscale target drone. The entire military uses it for training exercises. The what? The drones train fighter pilots and test weaponry during live fire drills. They are remotely controlled and simulate an actual air-to-air -air combat mission. Shooting one of these drones down would be equivalent to firing at an enemy aircraft. The drone had vanished a few hours after Air Force representatives arrived in Boynton Beach. The BQM-167A that Bray discovered was likely shot down during a training exercise two or three sessions prior. According to Bray, the Air Force's 53rd Wing annually conducts training drills around once every month. The drones are brought back by boat or parachute recovery device because, according to the Air Force, they may be repaired, tested, and used again. The 82nd Aerial Target Squadron operates and maintains the drones at Tyndall Air Force Base in the Florida Panhandle, 12 miles east of Panama City. Three 120-foot boats for retrieving drones and four smaller boards for patrolling make up the squadron's sole fleet of boats in the Air Force. Number 19. A Gigantic Tree a big piece of driftwood washed up recently in La Plush, a small town on the northwest coast of Washington's most western peninsula. This is a place where tall trees are common. Barb Mance, who works in the Olympic National Park near La Plush, says it's not unusual to find a tree as tall as she is, but this one is huge. This piece of driftwood is called drift log. Mance said it wasn't unusual to find trees in the forest that were 5 to 10 feet in diameter and a few hundred feet tall. This wasn't measured. Strong winds and high tides are needed to bring these monsters ashore. Man says that big winter storms can cause the rivers that run through the forest to flood and cause trees to fall. Philip Blackman, who used to teach and is now retired, caught the drift log. He said the weather was howling wind and there were sometimes squalls of rain. At La Plush, there was a lot of different kinds of driftwood on the beach, and this tree was right in the middle of the beach. We were shocked by how big it was and confused by how strong the wind was and that brought it here. Number 18. A World War II Fighter Plane a fighter plane from the United States came down on a beach in North Wales. The Lockheed P-38 Lightning fighter plane is still present today to keep it safe, even though no one is certain of its precise location. The aircraft, which is believed to carry the USAAF serial number 41-7677, lies buried in the sand around 2 meters deep. 
Only three times has nature discovered the plane after it crashed. The Maid of Harlech, as it is now known, is thought to be one of the most significant WW2-related archaeological discoveries in recent memory. Second Lieutenant Robert F. Elliott, 24, of Ridge Square, North Carolina, disparted Landbetter for a gunnery practice mission. A man has been photographing Father Christmas in department stores for the past 35 years. He ascended to 6,000 feet, but the left engine failed less than an hour into his journey. He believed that the propeller was the issue, so he attempted to manually fix it before deciding to try to land. A family strolling along the beach spotted the plane when the sands moved into a channel. The sands, however, were once more partially covering the plane. Number 17. Messages and Bottles does a man from Courtenay own the message in a bottle that has been around the longest? Steve Thurber lives in Courtenay and often finds interesting things at the beach. He also has something that could be a record. This time, though, he might have found a new world record. Thurber was walking along Schooner Cove near Tofino when he found an old message in a bottle. Thurber often finds things like old bottles while walking on the beach. He says, I was almost going to pass this by. Afterward, I said, oh, there must be something in there. And when I looked, I saw a note with the date 1906 written on it. I thought that was pretty cool. And right now, it might be the world record. And the bottle was just sitting in the sand in one of the excavator tracks, he explains. I think one of the excavators ran it over because it was in one of the tracks and had some chips in it, said the person. Thurber hasn't opened the bottle yet, but he could figure out the message by looking at the bottle. It was written by Earl Willard on September 29, 1906 on the steamer Rainier. 76 hours into a trip from San Francisco to Bellingham. Thurber says that the Bellingham Railway Museum is now at the address on the bottle, 1304 Commercial Street, Bellingham, Washington. Number 16. Whale Bits and Whole Whales on the western coast of Sri Lanka, some 100 pilot whales got trapped and volunteers and rescuers worked incredibly hard to save them. The largest mass breaching in the nation occurred there. Just before dusk, the short fin pilot whales began approaching Pandura, about 25 kilometers 15 miles south of Colombo. According to Sanjaya Arasingh, the local police chief, there were roughly 100 of them in an hour. According to the Marine Environment Protection Authority, MEPA, whose employees were assisting in the rescue, this was the biggest number of whales to become trapped simultaneously in Sri Lanka. It's quite unusual for a significant quantity to wash up on our shores, and we don't know why, said MEPA's chief, Darshani Lahandapura. We believe this is similar to the huge stranding in Tasmania in September. People are saving numerous pilot whales with short fins throughout the night. The largest incident in Australian history involved 470 pilot whales breaching themselves in an isolated harbor in Tasmania. A total of 110 whales were saved over a few days. Pilot whales can reach lengths of up to 6 meters, 20 feet, weigh a ton, and are extremely gregarious animals. Number 15. Giant Snowballs or Tiny Snowman Pieces Videos and pictures from the Gulf of Ob in western Siberia showed a whole beach covered with snowballs that seemed to have washed ashore. In one of the online photos from the Siberian Times, a woman could be seen sitting on the frozen balls. In another, a dog ran up to the balls, which had also gotten together to make what looked like a wall of ice-cold balls. About two weeks ago, the balls were first washed. They are said to be strung along 11 miles of beach and can be as big as 3 feet across, which is about the size of a tennis ball. A beach video taken by a man named Valerie Togo shows that the small pieces of ice form get rolled by the wind and water and end up as huge snowballs. This is a very interesting natural phenomenon. Most of the time, the main natural event happens first, such as sludge or slob ice. Next, we'll talk about how the wind affects things, how the coast looks, and how the temperature and wind are. It's possible that the combination is so unique that it makes balls like these. Even though this is a new and unusual way to make balls, this is not the first time people have seen these round things. Number 14. Giant Squid on La Arena Beach in Cantabria, Spain, a big squid washed up with enormous eyes and a large blob for a body. It resembles a legendary creature more than a living animal. The creature is enormous, weighing 400 pounds, and is around 30 feet, 9 meters long. It is a fragment of the largest vertebrate on Earth without a backbone, Archituthis dux. According to El Diario Montanez, the enormous squid is currently displayed in the Maritime Museum of Cantabria. It may have been luck that an underwater photographer who works in the area was nearby when the squid washed ashore on the beach, says Enrique Toledo. 
Being one of the few who saw these animals made me feel fortunate. Since they live at tremendous depths, they rarely wash up dead on the coast. It appears to be a marine monster that has successfully adapted to life below the surface. At Japan's National Science Museum in Tokyo, zoologist Tsunemi Kudodera and his colleagues captured the first live footage of an Architetheus gigantic, squid in its natural habitat. The unexplained monster was visible in the footage at approximately 2,066 feet, about 620 miles, south of Tokyo close to the Ogasawara Islands. A three-person crew pursued the huge squid at submersible depth of 2,950 feet. Number 13. Barnacle-covered wooden cross washes up on Florida Beach. A heavenly cross about 20 feet long washed up on a beach in South Florida. On Saturday, a painted wooden cross measuring 20 feet in height and encrusted with barnacles was discovered on a beach along Galt Ocean Mile in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. The cross was covered in barnacles. The crucifix was dragged onto the beach behind the Ocean Manor Beach Resort, which is presently on display after being moved there by a group of individuals. Greg Gay, a tourist from Michigan, reported to the neighborhood television station WSVN that he discovered the cross. Gray, who admitted that he does not regularly attend religious services, stated that he felt divine about it. When the Ocean Manor Resort owner Frank Tellerico found out about the cross, he said he got chills and believed it was a sign of protection. He said this to WSVN. After a frightening dream, he added, his sister had gone to the property that morning to pray at the chapel. No one is sure where the cross originated, but some people believe it may have originated in Puerto Rico and then moved to other places. Number 12. Thousands and thousands of jellyfish. The by the wind sailor jellyfish, Valella Valella, spends its days drifting aimlessly through open water and eating free food from an endless buffet, much like a passenger on a cruise ship. The jelly floats on the surface of the ocean. It has a strong sail above the water and many purple tentacles below. The jelly moves around as the sail gets more wind and catches plankton and small fish. Millions of valellas can live together in thriving colonies where they just hang out and eat each other. It's good to be alive. Every year, thousands of sailor jelly colonies get stuck on beaches worldwide. The animals die there, leaving behind a crunchy carpet of dried out bodies on the sand. Sailor jellies often wash up on the shore when the winds change with the seasons, but some strandings, like the one that happened off the west coast of New Zealand in 2006, are a whole different story with millions of jellyfish bodies. Why? What natural event causes some strandings of Valella to be much bigger than others? Tell us what you think in the section below. Number 11. A Giant Die this past week in the town of Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, a gigantic dye that appeared to have deteriorated through time and had been washed up on the shore of the lake was discovered there. Mark Sales relayed that it was around 6 feet square and steel. The dots that are positioned on either side of the dye are colored with a strikingly brilliant white, and one of the sides of the dye has some pipes poking out of it. It's around 6 feet by 6 feet in size, and shortly after it was discovered, workers from the city came through to remove it from the area. Obviously, someone had placed the white decals on an otherwise regular box, which resulted in a lot of debate. People in the region were curious about the history of the odd dye. It was patently clear that someone had applied the white decals on an otherwise unremarkable box. Because of the white dots that a neighborhood resident had painted on the container, it began to appear like a dye. This individual is a longtime member of the community. Number 10. Lots of Rubber Duckies in 1992, on its way from Hong Kong to the United States, a shipping crate with 28,000 plastic bath toys fell overboard. No one would have thought those same bath toys would still be floating in the oceans more than 20 years later. Today, that group of plastic ducks is being praised for changing how we think about ocean currents and teaching us a few things about plastic pollution. Since that infamous day in 1992 when the yellow ducks were dumped at sea, they have floated halfway around the world. Some have washed up on Hawaii, Alaska, South America, Australia, and in the Pacific Northwest shores. Others have been found frozen in the Arctic ice. Still, others have made it to Scotland and Newfoundland in the Atlantic Ocean. People following the ducks for years have given them the name Friendly Floaties because of how friendly they are. But the 2,000 floaties that still swim in the currents of the North Pacific Gyre, a vortex of currents that stretches from Japan to Southeast Alaska, Kodiak, and the Aleutian Islands, might be most well known. Their plight helped find the North Pacific Gyre. Number 9. A German U-Boat One morning, the residents of Hastings were startled to discover one of Kaiser's U-Boats on their beach. 
The beached submarine attracted tens of thousands of people. The Admiralty permitted the town clerk to charge visitors a fee to access the deck. The important visitors were to be shown around the submarine by two Coast Guard personnel. When both men fell very ill, the visits were stopped. Both men passed away soon after. The cause of the men's death was unknown at the time. Therefore, all visits inside the submarine were halted. It was later found that chlorine gas leaking from SMU-118's batteries had serious abscesses on the men's lungs and brains. The AG Vulcan Stedden shipyard in Hamburg completed the construction of SMU-118 before it was put into service on May 8, 1918. Herbert Stowasser was in charge of it when it joined the One Flotilla, sailing in the Eastern Atlantic. They were some of the most dreaded killing machines of World War I, taking thousands of warriors with them to their deaths at sea. So it came as a bit of a shock when the residents of Hastings awoke one morning to find German U-boat on their beach. These unsettling images demonstrate how the residents of Sussex town were all too familiar with the horrors of war. Number 8. 205 million year old jawbone. Experts think that the giant ichthyosaur fossil found in Somerset was one of the biggest animals that ever lived. It was 26 meters long. During the Jurassic period, these aquatic reptiles were at the top of the food chain for a long time. The bones are from 205 million years ago and are 25% bigger than the reptile's previous record. This shows that the species was almost as big as a blue whale. They also solve a 150-year-old mystery about dinosaur bones that were said to have been found in Glucoshenshire in the 1800s. These seem to be the jawbones of a huge, never-before-seen species of ichthyosaur that could have grown to be 30 meters long, 98 feet. Scientists think that these bones came from an ichthyosaur about 26 meters long, almost as big as a blue whale. They came to this conclusion by comparing them to bones found in Canada. The bones found in Canada came from Shoniosaurus sacanianesis, a 21-meter-long chestasterid once thought to be the largest ichthyosaur in the world. Dean Lomax, an ichthyosaur expert at the University of Manchester, says that figuring out the size of the specimen is hard because all that is left is a large part of the jaw. But a simple scaling factor shows that the little stock specimen is about 25% bigger than the same bone in S. cycanianesis. Even though they aren't considered dinosaurs, fossils show that ichthyosaurs lived from 251 million years ago to 65 million years ago. Number 7. Gigantic Lego Minifigures The figure, 8 feet tall and washed up on Yugiyahama Beach, in Japan, was first noticed by a surfer named Tatsuya Hirata. The Lego guy was wearing blue pants and a red shirt with Ego Leonard on the back and mysterious phrase, no real than you are, on the front. The name Ego Leonard was written on the back of the Lego man, and on the front, the words, no real men than you are, were written. The question is where it came from. Ego Leonard is a Dutch artist who comes from Virtual Universe, according to his website. On his website, there is a note that says, My name is Ego Leonard, and you say that I'm from the virtual world. A world with no rules or laws, which to me means happiness and being with others. is full of greenery and flowers. There have been other times when a huge Lego man washed up on a beach. In 2012, a Lego guy was found on a beach in California. The year before, the same thing happened in Florida. Number 6. Thousands of Dead Starfish Visitors to a beach in Merseyside were stunned after witnessing a scene in which hundreds of starfish had washed up on the beach's coast. A dog walker named Lindsay Shona Robinson was the one who made it this discovery. It was made on the beach at New Brighton, directly opposite Derby Pool. Yet, Lindsay noted that I presume there are over 70 starfish in that photo, however, we only picked up a small fraction of them in that vicinity. My best guess is that there were several thousand people on that beach at any given time and they were dispersed across the entire sea. According to reports, clams and urchins were also discovered at the spot in New Brighton. It is hypothesized that the recent storms were the cause of starfish being found on land, considering they occurred around the same time, even though it has been asserted that it is not unusual for marine life to be observed washing up on neighboring beaches due to storms, the likelihood of this happening is extremely low. Number 5. A motorcycle. On a lonely stretch of British Columbia's west coast, a Harley Davidson motorcycle with a Japanese registration and styrofoam lined crate came up. It has been determined that this is the first piece of tsunami debris to reach Canada. 
According to experts, more debris from the Japanese tsunami, which occurred more than a year ago, is expected to slowly travel to North America over the next months. More than 1.5 million tons of material are drifting toward Canada's west coast, but just a few fragments have so far washed ashore. The vast North Pacific Ocean has been so thoroughly rearranged by winds and ocean currents, according to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration of the United States, that debris is no longer visible from a low-resolution satellite. The organization added that only a very small number of sightings have been reported by ships that frequently navigate the North Pacific. On the other hand, on April 18th, Peter Mark discovered a white cube container while riding his ATV along a secluded beach on Graham Island. You never know what you're going to uncover when you take a trip, and lo and behold, you just discovered something extraordinary," he added. According to him, the back door was missing and a motorbike tire was hanging out of the container, which was barely below the high tide line. I peeked inside as I drew near and discovered a Harley Davidson motorcycle. Number 4. Giant Eyeball A gigantic eyeball that washed ashore on the shoreline of Pompano Beach, Florida and was discovered by a beach bomber there was wildlife specialists scratching their heads. However, it seems unlikely that it will be scratching their minds much longer. The eyeball, approximately the size of a softball, was brought to the attention of Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission on Wednesday, where wildlife officers promptly put it on ice to preserve it for further examination. After it has been properly conserved, it will be sent to the Fish and Wildlife Research Institute in St. Petersburg, Florida so that researchers can assess it. Carly Stegelson, a spokeswoman for the commission, stated that DNA testing would be utilized to solve the mystery if necessary. Marine biologists could not instantly identify which type of sea creature would be connected with the eye. If it becomes necessary for the researchers to do so, however, they will do genetic testing. Sagelson has revealed that she has received a significant amount of inquiries on the investigation ever since an image of the mystery eyeball was found. Number 3. Piano CBS4 Miami, CBS, CBS4 Miami, South Floridians are currently baffled by a new riddle, which comes on the heels of a tremendous mystery that is Coral Castle, which is also located in South Florida. This inquiry is focused on determining the location of the guard piano that was discovered on a sandbar in Biscayne Bay. Its previous location is a mystery. The piano, estimated to be between 650 and 700 pounds, was placed along the sandbar close to the highest point to ensure that it would not become buried even during high tide. The piano bar near Biscayne Bay is located approximately 200 yards down Northeast 107th Street, not too far from the Quayside condominiums. Daniel Sheridan, a resident, was quoted as saying that he had heard of all sorts of stuff, from cocaine to old boots. Washing up on the coast, but a piano? Many people are interested in knowing how the piano came to be in the spot, and one speculated that it might have been the last prop that was left behind after the production of a music video. Nevertheless, there is still not a single shred of proof to back up such a claim. Number 2. Montauk Monster Long Island, New York is where a peculiar creature was found washed up on the beach. The populace dubbed the bloated, bloodless beast found dead on the beaches of Ditch Plains in the Montauk Monster because it appeared to be a monster straight out of a storybook. The beast was found laying lifeless on the beaches of Ditch Plains. There is rapid dissemination of both the news of the creature and ideas about where it came from. People quickly suggested that it might be a mutant created due to an experiment conducted at the Plum Island Animal Disease Center, which is located nearby. Some people theorized that it was an extraterrestrial being that materials from Earth had been destroyed. It's also possible that it was some kind of strange marketing gimmick. The director of the International Cryptozoology Museum, Lauren Coleman, who is mainly credited with coming up with the moniker Montauk Monster, launched exhaustive research on the monster almost immediately after the name was coined. It appeared to be the corpse of a dog cooked in the sun and had weird ties around its legs. However, it did not appear to be the correct size to be a dog, and the creature appeared to have a beak on its face rather than a nose. Number 1. Massive Pipes in Norfolk, England, large pipes that are initially loaded onto ships and way to Algeria washed ashore. These pipes were so large that they could be driven by a car. In Norfolk, England, visitors were astonished to see giant pipes instead of crowds and towels. 1,574 feet long was the length of the largest pipe. The four giant plastic pipes, each measuring up to 480 meters in length and constructed in Norway, were washed up on England's shore. 
The pipes, which had a diameter of around 2.5 meters, were being towed off the east coast of England when they came loose and finally washed ashore close to the Norfolk towns of Horsey and Seapaling. There are still eight pipes offshore that are in control. According to the officials, the brand new pipes that washed up on the shore were their route to Algeria. They were between 200 and 480 meters long on average. They argued that there was no danger from the pipelines and they couldn't harm the environment. Specialized companies Dutch Marine BV and Marine Towing Services worked diligently to remove them. It is expected that the pipes will initially be gathered into the area and secured there before being carried back to the producer in Norway. Beaches across the globe saw their share of weird blobs wash ashore. Sometimes this shoreline debris was small and weird. So what are these mysterious things that wash up on the beach, and what do they tell us? <laughs>